Since 1868, the Howard University College of Medicine has educated and trained young women and men in medicine and the healing arts. They're taught to question, to heal, and to care. The Howard University College of Medicine meets the needs of the nation by preparing young men and women to serve in underserved areas. That's so important. We talk about it all the time. We want to be absolutely certain that we continue to emphasize this because it's so important for our nation's health. My name is Amina Richardson. I was born in Jamaica and grew up in D.C. My name is Franklin Obi. I'm a Howard first year medical student. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I attended Dartmouth College. I did my undergrad at Stanford University in California, and I am a first year medical student here at Howard. Uh, I chose Howard basically because, of, well, after my interview, I was kind of sold. I, I actually love the place, I love the feel, the university. I chose Howard University College of Medicine because of its commitment to the community and the underserved population here in Washington, D.C. As a student at Howard, we get the opportunity to work at the Freeman's Clinic. Um, Freeman's Clinic essentially is a free clinic, and we students get the opportunity to provide medical care to anybody from the D.C. metro area, whether uninsured, whether underinsured, or from any walk of life. And it allows us to not only practice our clinical skills, but also give care to the underserved, which is a part of our the mission here at Howard University College of Medicine. And it's uh, something I appreciate very much. By virtue of its mission, the Howard University College of Medicine provides students of high academic potential with a medical education of exceptional quality and it prepares physicians and other healthcare professionals to serve the underserved. Howard University uniquely prepared me, I would say, in three ways. First, um, I received a technical competence that I would not have been able to receive um, elsewhere. I received a cultural competence that I also would not have been able to receive elsewhere. The education that's delivered is delivered in a culturally competent manner that has prepared me uniquely to do the things that I do and serve the populations that I serve um, as well. And I think I would say the third one is that the combination of the technical competence and the need to serve. You know, our motto is truth and service and the Howard College of Medicine really emphasizes service. When I first entered Howard University Hospital, what I saw was something that was very similar to what I see in other hospitals, which is a diverse group of doctors working together to help patients and treat patients. But what was different at Howard was I was able to see black leaders, leaders that looked like me, and that affected me in a very emotional way. I attended Benjamin Banneker Senior Academic High School here in Washington, D.C. And while participating in community service, I had the opportunity to shadow two physicians at Howard University Hospital and they definitely inspired and encouraged me to pursue a career in medicine. The College of Medicine's mission underscores its deep investments in its students, and its creed further states that emphasis is placed on developing skills and habits of lifelong learning and producing world leaders in medicine. This is accomplished with both excellent pedagogy and a commitment to mentoring. Mentorship is very important in medicine because you want to impart those ideals and principles that you know are the very best. I had some excellent teachers, Dr. Charles Drew, the blood bank pioneer, Dr. Burke Syfax, who's an abdominal surgeon, known to be a master of the Evelyn, Dr. Jack White, someone who's the first black American trainee in cancer, Dr. Montague Cobb, professor of anatomy, and also someone who's emphasizing the role of civil rights in medicine. So mentorship is very important, and you try to give your very best qualities to the young men and women whom you teach. Howard has a long history of educating African-American physicians, and as an African-American male, I know that Howard provides me a nurturing environment and gives me the tools and the confidence that I need to continue my medical education. The Howard University College of Medicine has been recognized as one of the nation's finest and it stands with few peers in its commitment to produce doctors dedicated to serving the underserved. In a span of 145 years, the Howard University College of Medicine has educated, trained, and graduated more than 8,000 physicians. They are doctors who continue to forge new paths in medicine and who go where the need is greatest. 
They understand that as sons and daughters of Howard, their charge is to serve. They strive to provide excellent medical treatment, especially in underserved and minority communities. Fulfillment of the mission begins with Howard's pipeline to prepare African Americans and people of color for careers in medical sciences. Howard University is one of the top producers of applicants to medical school in this country. Uh, when you look at minorities and African Americans in particular, uh, we lead the way in terms of sending people um, to medical school via application process and then when you look at enrollees, we are number two only to one other school in the country. I think that says a lot about where Howard is positioned in terms of really fulfilling um, the dream of that pipeline to medicine. I chose primary care because I wanted to make sure that as a doctor I would be able to offer my services to a wide variety of patients regardless of their socioeconomic class. I plan on pursuing a cure in surgery because I find that once a patient is on the table, we're all the same. We're all very human. And whatever advances in the art ensues, I will use for the benefit of my patients. I shall not forget that the goal is preservation of life and prevention of disease.